Greetings barbers, this is Max from Darkstag and today we're going to be going through a loose textured pre-pompadour. So we're going to start with the consultation. The first thing that we need to do is ask the client a couple of questions regarding what they're after today. What we wanted initially today was a pompadour haircut. Obviously due to the length that the model has, I don't think that it's gonna be achievable today. What we're gonna do is like work on an idea of an interim haircut so we've got the possibility of growing the hair out for a future pompadour. So the main thing you wanna be doing when you're having a consultation is asking the client certain questions, e.g. how often they wash their hair, how they style their hair, what if they use any tools, how, how often they're up for upkeep as well and just generally get an understanding of the client's lifestyle, profession, just so you don't want to do anything too aggressive that may affect their work or make people's perceptions of them change ever so slightly. So obviously during the consultation, you want to be studying the hair type and texture. So just having a little look through, obviously making sure that what the client's demands are met with the future haircut. Obviously to get a pompadour, we're going to need a little bit more length run through this area. The actual hair texture itself is quite good. I think the haircut would work quite nicely on it. But again, the only thing that's letting us down is that extra bit of length. So what we're gonna do is work on a haircut that will kind of give us a little bit of style for now and then give us the freedom to allow certain areas to grow out so then we can go through and do the haircut next time. So I've had a conversation with Jack regarding what's gonna be need to be done with the styling of the pompadour. So the use of a hairdryer and a brush to kind of give us that kind of finish with it coming back. Jack's up for that. So what we're gonna look at doing today is an in-between haircut, something that we can use to grow out this area to get what we want in the final pompadour haircut, but also to get used to using the tools. So as well as using a hairdryer and a brush to create the look that we're after, we're gonna to need to talk about styling products as well. Obviously you need to be very clear with the client about what tools they will need to use at home, be it the hairdryer and also styling products. If someone's after a particular look, which will demand a lot of use of products, you've got to make, that, make sure that the client is fully understanding of what they need to do at home to create the look that you're giving them today. So what we're going to do now to set up for the pre-pomp, basically we're just going to take the sides in quite nice and short. Previously what we've done is built up a bit of a corner through here. I'm now going to take it in a bit square and a bit tighter, really to exaggerate the length that we're going to have through here. We're going to start by going through and layering through the back and the sides rather than building up graduation. Again, just to get that nice and tight through those corners. We'll then dry that off, work a scissor over comb technique just to take off any of the hair a bit shorter through the back and sides. Nothing too crazy, because obviously we want to take that in quite shorter with the pump. So we'll just go, basically just cleaning everything up through that area, and then we'll move on to the top. Rather than previously, at 90 degree angle. Everything's just coming straight out from the head. We'll go through and cross check through this area just to make sure everything's balanced. So what you can start to see is that's just sitting in a bit more snug to the head shape itself now, rather than exaggerating that corner, bringing a bit more of a boxier shape. Still gonna be quite square and tight, but it'll be a bit higher through here now, rather than being over like that angle. We're just trying to get the main bulk of the length off. What we will do is once dry, we'll go over, scissor over comb, through the perimeter, and then up just to sharpen everything up, give it a nice sort of clean look. Making sure we're working cleanly, small sections, straight out from the head, not to over direct any particular way. Just completely straight out from the head. Making sure to leave a little bit of length through that top point. Kind of working a bit more to natural fall here. As we can see, the hair is kind of moving ever so slightly around this way. So just working with the hair, the way that wants to fall naturally, following my guide. As you can see, everything straight. OK, 
occasionally will be met with clients that want something that might not necessarily be available for now. As long as you're honest and open regarding your consultation process with what you can do, what's actually achievable, and try and think of a nice alternative for now while the hair's growing, I think it's the best way to play it. So if it is a bit of an intermediate haircut, something that not quite what they're after for now, maybe just talking through different ideas of styling might help. So we've taken the main bulk of the hair off. As you can see, everything's sitting in a lot tighter to the head now, a bit more squarer. Obviously we had that corner in there before, which gave us a bit more of a softer look, but now we're going a little bit more tight, slightly more aggressive and setting up for the pompadour. I'm just gonna blast off the sides and then we'll move on to the top. So now we've dried the sides and the back off, we're just gonna go through, through the perimeter of the haircut and just scissor over comb any unwanted length, just cleaning anything up over the years, getting that in nice and tight, and then following, marrying that up to the length that we've already layered and cut through. So I'm just gonna start scissor over comb through this area. Obviously you can go through and use clippers, but because we're going for a little bit more of a softer textured look, I'm preferring to go through and scissor over comb. A little bit less mechanical, a little bit less militant. Always working and following the way that the hair grows. Strengthening up just for around the front. Any unwanted hair out. You can still create strength and have an air of sharpness to it without it being clippered. As you can see, we're starting to get a bit more of a squarer, tighter, shorter length through this side. Scissor over comb is really kind of like one of your bread and butter barbering techniques. I've got another video that I've covered. Scissor over comb. Just check the links. Feel free to ask clients to move their heads if needed. I'm just going to get right into the nape of the neck. Feel free to position yourself so you're at eye level. Sit on a stool, raising or dropping the chair. So obviously when you're doing a scissor open technique, the idea is that the comb sits, almost becomes an extension of your hand. The scissor blade itself will sit just on the comb as such, and then they both move as one in unison. You can't be having this move too quickly or that one move too quickly because then you end up putting lines. So you want to be moving almost like a C shape. Don't worry if you're not too quick with it initially. You can go quite slowly, just moving. When you're working in such close proximity, in little sections like that, feel free to step back, have a little look at the hair, assess where you've cut, where you need to go to next, and then come back into it. So remember to cross check. So now we move on to the top. To give us that pompadour look, obviously the shape of the hair, we want to get a little bit more height and body through here and then take it in a bit more like that. So you're kind of creating that kind of silhouette to it. So what we're going to do now is previously where it was cut a little bit squarer, we're just going to change the angle of it just so we can grow that front out and just give us a little bit more length to play around with. As you can see, really starting to get that shape come through. As you work your way forward to the head, you should obviously get a little bit longer. So what we're going to be doing today with channel cutting is looking to create a little bit more texture and movement. Obviously, we're creating a pre-pomp, so we're basically just setting the haircut up so we can grow it into a pompadour style haircut. 
So we've taken everything short through here, left a little bit of length for this to grow out. Obviously for the meantime, Jack might want to wear his hair a little bit more forward, or just give it a little bit more texture, just so it doesn't feel a little bit too heavy or weighty while it's growing out. So what we're going to do is, previously we've been working vertically down the head like this. We're going to switch it up and just put in a couple of channels of texture, just taking little thin sections through horizontally just to remove a little bit of unwanted weight, just so you've got a few more options while it's styling. It's not going to do anything detrimental in terms of taking away any length that we don't want to, but it's just going to give us a little bit more options in terms of styling. When we're using channel cutting, we're basically just trying to put in areas of smaller sections of just to create a little bit more movement and texture within a haircut. So you might even want to use this on someone that have like maybe a little bit thicker hair, a bit more natural movement in it, but it's just going to give you a few different lengths running through the haircut without taking any of the main length away from it. You can go quite extreme with this. You could have length of hair up to here, and you could go really quite short with it. It's just basically just giving you another dynamic, just so allowing the hair to move a little bit more when you're running product through. So what I'm doing is I'm not taking, I'm almost taking every second section and I'm bringing it straight up from the head and I'm point cutting through, just taking away a little bit more of the length. So when you pull the section up, you will notice almost like a bit of a jaggedy effect to it, but not taking any main length away, nothing too detrimental or anything at all. Great on someone that's looking for just a bit of a variation on their haircut or if they're looking to grow their haircut out at all, just to give you another option. So as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit more texture and movement running through that area now. So I'm using the DS Plus here. During this technique, you could use any kind of scissor really, providing it's sharp enough. I mean, comb-wise as well, you don't really, it doesn't particularly matter. I'm using the barber comb too. I just like the feel and the thickness of it. But you're just working against the hair, just to create a little bit more sharpness and texture. As I said, you don't want to be taking too thicker sections. You don't want to take too finer, so you don't really see anything but it's kind of a bit down to your own discretion really when doing this technique. So what we're gonna be looking to do in this technique is just kind of finishing up the remainder of the haircut, just going around sharpening up all the perimeters of the haircut, particularly around the ear where we've got a little bit of extra length of hair that we've just left. Sharpen up, personalizing, and just giving it a real crisp finish. So you kind of just do this towards the end of the haircut. As I said, it's kind of just finishing up what we're looking to do is just create a little bit of strength and sharpness through the exterior. It's giving us a bit more of a sharper, tighter finish. So I'm using the DS Barbacone One. Obviously, it's really flexible, so it really helps to get into the nape of the neck. And I'm just using the DS Plus scissor. Obviously, you could go through and use clippers afterwards to sharpen it up if you want to go even tighter. So, just finished up doing our loose textured pre pompadour cut. What we've done, taking the sides and the back a lot square and a bit tighter kind of over-exaggerating how much length we've got coming through the top. Scissor over comb through the edges to give us a bit of a sharper finish. Sort of free-handed, a, a bit of sharpness through the perimeter. And then what we've done is we've just put in some channel cutting just through the top, just to give us a little bit of looser texture, just while we grow it out to get our pompadour. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please don't forget to like or subscribe down there, or if you want to see another video straight away, check out some of these.